On a scale of one to 10, how spicy is this food? Bye. Bye? Bye is what? Bye is, I buy a plane ticket out of here. This is a bad idea. In today's modern meat-filled world, some body parts get overlooked. Intestine, legs, liver, ass. Is there any part of the chicken you don't sell? The nail. <laughs> the nail. <laughs> This series is an homage to the off-cuts. Uh, huh? uh. Body parts that in the West might get thrown in the trash. Three, two, one. Last time, we discovered tasty hearts. Oh, oh my God. And now, it's all about the bones. Calvin, Sunny, bones. Bones! What? You can't eat a bone. I don't think that. Oh, okay. Today, we're on a hero's mission. Look at how much meat that's on there. Oh my, my God. God. Whoa. Showing that these underrated animal pups <laughs> have the power to rise above. The bone itself, it is an elusive ingredient and it can be used to make food absolutely delicious, like pho. Are we eating pho today? No. Damn. But just an example. Sure. Four foods, four chefs, cooking up dishes that are not just tolerable, but crave-worthy and delicious. Inside there's bone marrow and this is how you're supposed to do it. Oh. So how will they do it? Let's find out. So today, today, we're eating a lot of different bone stuff. Yes! Oh wait, but there's also some bones that you can eat whole. I got one. A trombone. <laughs> and... No, I don't have that one. No, I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm leaving my show. <laughs> Sir, put her there. Like that. Mr. Laup was a furniture designer before becoming a pork bone dealer. So this is our first bone location today. We're doing a lot of bone-related content. Can you see me? Now, he's opened a restaurant serving only one food, Lang Sap, a Thai dish with a Vietnamese twist. Why just the one food on the menu? Is it that good? God, I love this answer. <laughs> what? This is the easiest dish for him to make. He's not a chef. <laughs> Cooking Lang Sap is pretty straightforward. Which part of the bones are you using? It's the pork spine. The bones are boiled in water for two hours until the meat becomes soft and tender. Aside from the boiling, what is it that makes this dish really come together? What? Oh. Huh? He is a one word answer kind of guy. You know what he's saying? Chilies. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Is this gonna be spicy? You know, I love chilies, right? Not at 10 a.m. though. <laughs> That's what we're getting. The sauce is a combination of green chilies, scallions, and lime juice, cooked in the same stock the bones came from. On a scale of one to 10, how spicy is this food? Bai. Bai? Bai is what? Bai is, I buy a plane ticket out of here. This is a bad idea. <laughs> So pungent. Don't put your nose next to it. Sorry. Right. Last time I had a glove put on. Well, you don't hear that story, do you? No. Okay. <laughs> well, that was good. No, don't tell me. <laughs> Just leave it like that. Mm. Oh, that's heavy. Oh. On this side, you can see the whole spine. This is a L4, L5, L6. Do you know your vertebrae? Actually, looks like an airline seat. L1, L2, L3. No, that's good. You're doing good. I can't stop recording. This meat is peeling away very easily. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, juicy. So tender and juicy. Unbelievable. How much do you like chilies in the morning? I think food here is not that spicy. Mm, true. It's not anything compared to Thailand. It's a little bit of heat, but it's nothing too intense. Watch. You can hear it. You can hear it come out of the socket. Dip it into the sauce. Mm. <laughs> oh, that's a delightful blend, yeah, but the line. When he, early he had said he had gone to Bangkok and had this dish, he was so inspired that he created this dish here for Saigon, which is really cool. Yeah, I love that he, he took, I love that. I love it. <laughs> I love it. I think the best piece of meat is inside the spine. You push that meat upwards and yes. sunny, that is for you. Oh, it's just like in this hidden crevasse. <laughs> cheers, cheers. Oh, this pig's going places. <laughs> That is melt in your mouth delicious. Melt in your mouth delicious. Satisfaction guaranteed. Satisfaction guaranteed. Good start? Good start. But we have a lot more in store. <laughs> Holy cow! Oh, my name is Nam. Oh, you speak English? Little. Cool. Why am I here for? Get out. See ya. <laughs> this is a bone I did not expect. It's inside this animal. What kind of cat is this? 
Bai Du Nam has five years experience oh. serving this unique specialty. Bai Du, is it Bai Du? <laughs> okay, that doesn't help. <laughs> this is a sunbeam snake, only found around Southeast Asia. Locally, Vietnamese folks know it as an onion. Onion snake. It's a little oniony. Really? It's like a baby's bottom. Oh, look at Gantong. How up? How kinda? Put your finger in there, he says. <laughs> it's not unusual to find snake meat in Vietnam. It's believed to have special health benefits when combined with Eastern medicine, like snake wine. Do you know anything about snake wine? It's supposed to be good for stamina. <laughs> it, and they don't mean a marathon. Nam's recipe, loved by the drinking crowd, doesn't waste a single part of the snake. Now, why snakes? You could have opened up anything out here. You could have had a taco stand. <laughs> oh, because he makes really good snake. Huh. Today, he's cooking up three different dishes, all from one snake. Uh, the top 10. Uh, top 10? Top 10 in Ho Chi Minh City. There's only nine places in Ho Chi Minh City. <laughs> I'm one of the top five rappers that live in my house. First, snake salad. That's right. Made with boiled snake meat and onion. Seasoned with MSG, salt, sugar, pork bone powder, fish sauce, chilies, and lime juice. He eats a lot of hot pot places and he goes home and he figures out their secret. Really? Yeah. Next, snake hot pot. Boiled snake parts get boiled again, but this time with lemongrass and calabash. Would you say it's top 100 in Vietnam? Hong Hong Bay. Very humble. He said yes. <laughs> now this final dish is what we really came for. The bones. Seasoned with condensed soy sauce, MSG, fish sauce, normal soy sauce, and chili sauce. Boom! Location two, snake number one. First snake of the day. Probably the last snake of the day. I hope so. Here, snake hot pot. This is literally the butt of the snake. The anus of the snake. Yeah, it's it, the anus. There's tons of body parts in here. Big pieces of meat, skin. The testicles? Testicles. Oh, snakes have crazy testicles. Should we try it out? Yeah, well, I mean, yeah. Oh. Texture of a wetsuit. Mmm. <laughs> it tastes good. It tastes good. And mine's bursting with flavor over here. You just gotta, like, bite into it and peel it back. Skin salad. Oh. My favorite word, gelatinous. Mm. It's very lean animal, because there's no fat between the skin and the meat. Right, that's a good point. Have you ever seen a fat snake? And you were disappointed. On Google Images right now, can we pull up fat snake? No, that's a snake that just ate something recently. Can we look up, like, obese snake? Mm. See, that's funny. Mm. In the end, this is what we've come here for. The bones. The bones. He's kind of peeled away all the meat that he could, and there's a bit of protein left between the ribs, and as they fry it, it becomes crispy, brown. Doesn't seem like a typical meat. Cheers, cheers. Can you hear that? Delicious, deep savoriness. Kind of thick. You have to really make a concerted effort to eat all of it and not let it kill you. Ugh. I think it's creative, I respect it, I appreciate it. This snake, if it had thumbs, would definitely give it a thumb up. Doesn't have Thumbs though. Yeah, but just like theory, hypothetical theory. This street side restaurant we're about to enter is one of the best in Southeast Asia. But this fact might not be so obvious upon first glance. Jay, fuck that. Put her there. Here, if you pay close attention, subtle signs of success will reveal themselves. Is business good or is business good? As always, the best indicator of quality is the hordes of folks lining up to sit down and grab a bite. Here, you're making hutiu. Calvin, what is hutiu? Hutiu is a dish known in the south region of Vietnam. Rice noodles, a bone broth, and it's usually made out of pork. Miss Fung's hutiu is so popular, she's now able to employ her entire family. But people aren't just here for the noodles. They're really after is this. Mo fun. This is one order. This flavor-packed skeletal soup helps them sell over 900 pounds of pork bones each day. So you're gonna eat the tendon around, and then you dip it in, and then you take a shot of it. That sounds fantastic. Fresh herbs and fried garlic are a must, but the broth 
The broth is what really makes this place stand out among many, many others. Cái này là mình nấu nước. One of the secrets she said is that her, the sweetness comes from the bones. Does it come from sugar or MSG? It's natural. Flipping A, ma'am. I just realized you could have probably taken the mask off in the beginning of the scene, but that's okay. The chin diaper. I know. It looks nice. Oh, Calvin. Sunny. This place runs out of bones quick. Yeah, they're, they're sold out already. Holy crap. 400 kilos a day. It should be open for an hour thus far. I can't believe that. That's amazing. Is it still there? Okay, oh, wait. Don't let anyone steal that. <laughs> we have one on the side for close ups. So it's not a huge amount of meat. No. It's just a few millimeters that's right next to the bone that would be impossible for the butcher to cut. Cheers. Oh man, the meat next to the bone is always the most flavorful. This is delightful. Oh, oh, look at that. I've never been so jealous in my life. That bite looks amazing. Okay, I hope I have something even close to that on here. Wow. Oh. I feel like I just locked lips with God. Is God male or female? A little bit of both. Mm. No exaggeration, it's one of the most delicious things I've ever eaten. Just tendon, cooked down perfectly. And you know, tendon is not a piece of the animal that a lot of people eat. No, which is foolish, it's so good. Mm -hmm. This is something that's hard to get your hands on. You got your hands on it right now? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it wasn't easy. I had producers at work, we had to coordinate with the owner. So that's just the outside of the bone. Looking into the bone, you can see the marrow. Come up, come to Papa. Yeah, come on. Oh, oh. Mm -hmm. There's no way that on camera this doesn't look disgusting. A slimy pile of warm bone marrow. Oh. It's like buttery and smooth. It's like a cloud. Oh my lord, that is good. I think we found our top for the night. It's gonna be really hard to beat this. We have one location left, but I mean, this was an experience from heaven. You can pay hundreds of dollars, go to five-star restaurants, and you still are likely to not get something this amazing. It is breathtaking. I stopped doing the show for a second, hold on. <laughs> We should have washed our hands, huh? <laughs> Nidhi? Yes? I'm a huge fan of your work. Thank you so much. Is oh. this something that happens in India? Namaste or thank you. We always greet each other. Oh, namaste. Well, namaste. 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 I feel like I just finished a yoga class. Indian food. Delicious, but admittedly notorious for its extensive use of oil, often making it incredibly heavy. I love Indian food, but anytime I eat it, I need a wheelchair. <laughs> and I need someone to cart me around for two days. What we are doing here is 80% less oil. Even if you see the oil, it will be more from the meat itself. Right. Her culinary approach has paid off, resulting in a popular chain of Indian restaurants. Let's get down to the real reason we're here, because of the bones you're serving. The dish here is lal mas. Lal mas translates to red Red mutton. It's a curry made with yogurt and spices. However, it's not always made with bones. We need a very special part of the goat's leg that is a type of a land curry from Rajasthan. How many different spices are in this curry? 17. For India? That's a bit light. <laughs> and after that, chef cook it with spices or curry paste and then let it simmer for as long as it softens the... When I was a baby, I remember we had brother sisters. So when dad used to cook this kind of lamb curry, so we used to fight among each other who gets the bone marrow. <laughs> What'd you fight over? Well, I fought over cupcakes, maybe? Not bones. Oh, I fought over a pillow. Like a pillow fight? No, just yeah, a pillow. Just just sleep on it. <laughs> I mean, it's like to sleep on it. Oh, it's we tragic. Were, we, were, we were poor family. I right, stopped depressing people. Okay. Beneath this lid, something amazing, delicious. Check it out. <laughs> Whoa. That looks nice. That does look nice. I'm gonna dish myself. Okay. Will you dish me? Oh, uh, yeah, after me. Oh, I've had lal mas. Oh, I remember now. In my spicy episode, okay, in India, and it's red and then it's smoky. Is smoke part of the thing, Kai? Do they put smoke in it at the end? <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should taste the curry first. I've got some naan here. That's garlic naan on your side. That's true. I get a nice bite just of the gravy. Oh, yeah. The flavors are dancing on a palate. The meat is incredibly tender. You could cut this with a one-year-old's finger. I'm not sure why you would try that. Something that's not very sharp. Mmm. That is a delicious morsel mm -hmm. of meat. It's been braised so long, it's so soft, it's so tender. With the fat rendering down, it becomes kind of sticky. That's a great thing. 
Mm, you're right, Sunny. It is sticky. She's saying that inside there's bone marrow, and this is how you're supposed to do it if the marrow is gonna come out. Mine's up. popping out. Oh, yes. I see like the uh, umbilical cord. <laughs> Keep it going. Oh, oh mine oh. came out. Mine looks like a little tadpole. Gelatinous. Gelatinous. <laughs> Mm hmm but so good. The flavor, creamy, buttery. It goes perfect with this soft, chewy naan bread. Oh, to die for. To die for. Today when we started out, if you asked me, hey, can you eat a bone? I would have said, probably not. Sounds hard. But after today, today we've seen bones prepared literally hundreds of ways. But this. Each of those ways was unique and interesting and special in its own way. Sometimes we're eating the inside of the bone, sometimes the cartilage and little stuff connected between the joints, and sometimes eating the whole bone itself. And they're all across the board different. What I noticed for sure is no matter what bones you're eating, it all requires a lot of time and love. And that's why we've seen all these restaurants who have been able to, over time, just perfect the recipes. Okay, one bite. It's really good though. So good. It's for real good. Calvin, today, no, don't say Sunny. Today we ate four bone dishes made by four different restaurants. Which one was your favorite? Benares. It really blew me out of the water. The 17 spices, the depth and flavor. It was probably the best mutton dish I've ever had in my life. You know, I liked everything in different ways today. My absolute favorite today was the Hutu pork bones. Yeah. Oh, were cooked with such love and care and just the spices she used. Honestly, those bones, that's like a top five meals I've ever had in Vietnam. That's a lot. Hands down, I've had so many meals in Vietnam. Best Ever Food Review Show is a small team of independent creators and everything we do here works because of you guys. Click the link in our description to join our Patreon and receive exclusive benefits. A piece. Do you think you could reassemble this pig? Yeah, give me a minute, I can't. <laughs> Where does that go? Does that connect? This is like Voltron. That goes there. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. I fucked that up. Do it again, <laughs> sit it up. He asked if you want him to Look, capture down. a steak right now. No. No. I don't I think the audience would like to see that. Because it could be scary and traumatic and maybe dangerous. No, oh, he's doing no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> tell, tell him to do it. Okay, lovely, lovely, lovely. No! This is the arm. Yeah. <laughs> Here's the two legs. <laughs> hey guys, I'm back. All right. Okay. <laughs> Show some respect. Please. For the 5% of you who are still watching, please check out Calvin's Instagram channel here on the internet. Guys, that is it for this one. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. Peace. Peace. Oh, you go that way. Okay. All right, and um, you should catch a cab and go home.